So what I have is a Xeon flash tube assembly. I have a larger array in mind, and I wanted to go over the layout, components, and how well things would work. It's all about making a distractive mechanism of sorts. I also made a round style unit just to see how things would work. I also tried an experiment with the circular flash tube and the reflector is a 12 inch traffic light reflector. This is a quick look of the layout on this setup. I have a uh, constant current source to drive the high voltage supply because on the initial charge on the capacitor it's a dead short so we, we needed a way to um, limit the current and also this this high voltage driver has a short circuit output protection so there's also a current limit resistor on the output here's the overall drive circuitry that's the thumb switch for the trigger and constant voltage constant current driver for another eBay high voltage driver board. Capacitors on all of these are 1000 microfarad. And that real small trigger coil actually works with that tube uh, quite well. It works with pretty much any of them. So here's the flash tube that I'm using for these experiments. Don't know much about it. Came out of a copying machine. Cathode to cathode length is about 5 inches. That's our photodiode array for the optical sensor. Here is the uh, photodiode display. Here is a test setup using a 0.07 ohm resistor for a current sense. So here is a current reading with a 0.07 ohm current sense resistor. Peak volts is 17.2 volts. That gives us a peak current of like uh, 240 amps. Scope is set at 500 microseconds per division. And this is using a 820 microfarad capacitor. So here is the high voltage source for these experiments. It's just a uh, eBay 390 volt supply. So you can see there's 12 volts on the power supply that feeds my high voltage supply. We got 400 volts on the output. Handles the surge quite well. Here is the shot of the trigger. Single pulse. I'll push it twice. This is a quick view of the one shot circuit with the uh, time switch. This is the part that makes that crisp single uh, trigger. And it's just a standard one shot circuit.
these are the two battery packs I'm using. I made this pack up. There's five cells in series, two in parallel with the 18650 lithium ion batteries. This is a six cell power wall board. And I use that with the uh, dual tube setup. 